In this tutorial, we'll cover the Boolean tools, which are located in the Modify suite of icons. There's Union, Intersection, Difference, and the Boolean Split. These are used to add or subtract 3D solids or 2D coplanar faces. We'll look at the basics of how the Booleans work first, then we'll apply them to some sample projects at the end of this video. Let's get started by creating a couple of basic shapes. Select the 2D Rectangle tool. And with the 3D Extrusion icon selected, we can draw the rectangle and extrude it into a solid object. Now select the Circle tool. Draw a circle and extrude that into a solid object. Let's go back to the Rectangle tool and select the 2D Surface icon, and now we can leave a rectangle flat as a 2D shape. Select the Circle tool and generate a circle as a 2D shape also. We'll make one slight adjustment to our cylinder. We'll use the Reshape tool and select the bottom face and move it up just a little bit above the reference plane. Select the Move tool, and while holding the Shift key down, select both objects on the right, and we'll move them so they intersect the objects on the left. Now we'll look at the basics of how the Boolean operations work. Select the Union tool and click on any two solid objects or any two coplanar overlapping faces. Both the solids are joined or unioned into one single solid object, and the two faces are unioned together into one 2D surface. Undo twice, then select the Intersection tool. Click on the two solids, click on the two faces, and you end up with the resulting common area or the common surface of those two objects. Undo again, then select the Difference tool and click on two objects. The order that you pick the objects with the Difference tool is significant. The first object you pick is the one that you keep, the second object you pick is the one that is differenced from the first. In this first example, we selected the rectangular object first, so that is the side that is kept. Undo and perform the difference operation again by selecting the cylindrical shape first, and notice that that is the side that gets kept. Undo, and now let's try the Boolean split on these same objects. Click on the two objects and you see that the Boolean split is similar to the Difference tool in which it will subtract one object from the other, but it also retains the intersection of those two objects. Undo and let's try the Boolean split again. This time in the Tool Options palette, we're going to change it from a one-way to a two-way split. Click on both objects in any order and we will retain both sides of the object. It's almost like taking the first object and subtracting the second, the second minus the first, and also the common intersection between those two objects. Now that we understand the basics of how the Booleans work, let's apply it to some examples. For example, let's create some walls using the Vectorline tool and the 3D wall icon. Click a couple points and double click to pull it up into a 3D wall. Let's draw a wall on the right hand side. I double click and I'll snap to the wall on the left to maintain the same height. Let's move the wall on the left by using the Reshape tool and reshaping it and purposely intersecting it into the other wall. Not a problem, just simply use the Union tool, click on the two solids, and the Union together into one good clean solid object. As we show you in other videos, you can insert openings into an object by using just the drawing tools. For example, select a drawing tool, make sure you have the 3D Extrude icon and the Insert option checked, and draw on any face of the object and simply extrude it through to create an opening. We can also create holes or openings using the Boolean tool. For example, create some solid objects and we'll move those solid objects so they intersect through our wall. And then we'll choose the Boolean Difference tool, select the wall, select our object, and the object will be differenced from the wall to create the openings for the doors and the windows. Let's look at another example by using Booleans to create the solid form that we see here. We'll start by selecting the vector line tool in the 2D surface icon. Click two points, then we'll switch to the spline drawing tool. Click a few points for the spline, and then we'll click back at the start of the line to create a closed shape. We use the rotate tool along with the multi-copy option, number of copies is six, and we'll rotate that six times around the center. 60 degrees. Choose Command A to pick all the 2D shapes that you have and using the Boolean Union we'll click a blank area and union all those shapes into one shape. Then using the Reshape tool we can take that shape and extrude it into a 3D solid object. And using the Sphere tool I'll add a sphere right on top. And we need to move that down a little bit so let's use the Move tool. Make sure you have the one copy icon selected and we'll hit the command key to move it perpendicular down into the object. 
We'll use the Boolean Union tool again and union those two objects into one single solid. And we'll finish this off by using the Round tool and holding the Command key down and clicking on that edge to apply a round. And we'll finish up this tutorial with one more sample project. We'll use Booleans to assist us in creating this simple pool table. We begin by turning the grid snap on and setting it to 3 inches. We'll create a 9 foot by 5 foot tabletop by selecting the rectangle drawing tool and the 3D extrude icon. After my first click, as I drag the mouse, I'll type in 9 feet for the length, hit the tab key, and type in 5 feet for the width and hit enter. And then I simply pull that to a height of 6 inches. I'm then going to use the offset face tool, click on the top face and offset 6 inches into the top face. Using the reshape tool, I can reshape that newly inserted face down 3 inches. Next thing I need to do is round some of these hard edges that are there. I'll set the radius to 2 inches. And holding the command key down, I can click on just the segment to apply the rounding to just that one edge. And I'll do that for all four edges around the ends of our table. I would also like to apply a round around the perimeter of the top. So I'll select the pick tool. Hold the command key to pick just the top segment, and then I'll right click the mouse and choose a selected stitch. So it'll find the entire boundary for me. Now I select the round tool and click a blank area, and that round is applied to the entire selected stitch. Next, we need to create six holes in the tabletop for the pockets. We'll do this by creating a number of cylinders where the pockets are placed, and then using the Boolean difference tool to subtract the cylinders out to create the pockets. So the first step is to create the cylinders. Select the circle tool and turn off the insert option so the cylinder is created as a separate object. Snap to the corner point of the table and create a cylinder 3 inches by 12 inches. I'll now use the move tool and make sure you have the one copy icons clicked on and hold the command key to move it down and I'm going to type 5 enter to move it down 5 inches. Now we're going to choose the mirror tool and choose the one copy icon, click on the object and then we'll snap to the midpoint of the table and drag along the red guideline to mirror it across the center of the table. I want to make a few more copies, so I'll use the pick tool and pick both of the cylinders. Use the move tool, multi-copy, set that to 2 with the divide distance option. Snap from midpoint to midpoint of the table and we can evenly space two more across the length of that table. Now I'm going to use the Boolean difference. Click on the table first, then hold a shift key down and click all six of the cylinders. It's important that you pick the table first because that's the object that we're going to keep. Click a blank area and the Boolean difference operation is then executed. Since the table was picked first, all of the six cylinders will then be subtracted in one single difference operation. We move our tabletop up by selecting the move tool and the one copy icon. And to slide it in the perpendicular direction, I press and release the command key and move it up three feet. Let's create some legs. Let's use the rectangle drawing tool, draw the rectangle, and snap to the bottom of the table to give it the proper height. I'm going to put a slight taper on the leg by holding the command key and moving just the bottom segment of that table leg. We'll add a little round on the end like we did earlier by using the round tool. Hold the command key to round just the edge of that leg. And there's our first leg. We'll need three more legs to hold our table up. So we'll use the mirror tool one copy icon, click on the leg, snap to the midpoint of the table and drag along the red X guideline so we can mirror it across the center of the table. Let's use the pick tool, hold the shift key down and click both of the legs on the left hand side. Once again use the mirror tool and snapping to the midpoint of the table drag along the green Y guideline so we can make sure that we can mirror across the proper X and Y direction by snapping right to our object. Now we'll use the Boolean Union to union all these objects to form one solid object. By holding the Shift key down, I can click all these objects, and then click a blank area, and the union is applied to all of the selected objects. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Booleans tutorial.